How to make an awesome popsicle stick crossbow. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a crossbow like that over there, like this crossbow, with a the normal cross for a crossbow. It has, so it's as simple as pulling a rubber band back to the pin, closing the pin on it, putting a dowel, which is the ammo in it, letting that go, shoots all the way out. And that's how it works. But then you could also add all this, like, this chamber thing to put your ammo in and all that. And then there's a little um, rubber band slinger. So this is what I'm going to mainly show you today, and I'll do this at the end. And I'm going to explain all the materials that you'll need now. And it's also incredibly powerful. I popped balloons from 20 feet away with it. So you're going to need um, popsicle sticks, it doesn't matter what side. If you use jumbo ones, it will just be a larger version. If you use normal ones, it will just be a regular size. You're going to need um, well, a hot glue gun, and you should probably keep some extra glue sticks with you for if you run out. Um, some clothespins, just the normal wooden clothespins. You'll need a bunch of them and duct tape. Um, you might need some of this tape to like keep your um, tin foil down or whatever. And you're gonna need some rubber bands and stickers for the um, aimer. And that's pretty much it. And you'll also need a um, thing to put like over there. You see the, um, you see this thing there. That's to keep the dowel in. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna start out with popsicle stick, a few of them. We'll take them over here and we'll just simply take a little bit of glue on the side. Stick one like that. And just count to 30 or something less. It doesn't really matter. And we'll do the same on the other side. So right now I'm making the crossbow. After I'll make the rubber band slinger. And on top, you'll do a little bit of glue. It's okay if it misses. I'm missing a lot. Okay. And then you have to be very careful when you put this one on. But you gonna make sure all of them are aligned. You're gonna stick it on. You're gonna let that dry for I don't know, like half a minute, 30 seconds. Okay. In the meantime, we can take that off. It might be a little bit difficult. Foil rest, who cares? Okay, and then we'll take that piece. Make sure you get all the foil that ripped off of it. And you'll Put a dab of glue over there, and you're going to stick the popsicle stick like that. Just let it sit for a few seconds. Make sure it stays in line, and count to like 10. And then, you are going to put a dab of hot glue around that area, and you're going to put one across. And there's no exact measurements with this, so you don't have to take out a ruler or do any of that fancy stuff. So, just like that. So right now, it should kind of look like a basic shape of a crossbow, like holding here and all that. Then, you're going to take another popsicle stick and kind of do the same thing that you did over there. You're going to put a dab of hot glue. Put the popsicle stick, let it dry. Wait a few seconds. And then, this is one of the fun parts. That since that, you're going to let that dry for a little bit. We're going to put a, um, but this isn't the fun part. I forgot this one. There's a few more steps before it. First, you're going to put another one there.
and blow dry. Now here's where you get to use some different materials. We've been using popsicle sticks. Let's use some clothespins. So we're going to take a clothespin and put it about there, like where the beginning of that um, popsicle stick started. So we're going to put some hot glue there. And you're going to put the popsicle stick on with the top of it facing the um, the X part of the crossbow. Then um, it's just a good idea maybe to take another one and if you have scissors, just snip it in half. It will cut fine. You don't need any special pliers or anything. Just use normal scissors. You take that and um, take the flat part glue stick and you'll take that part and um, you'll get the uh, top of your crossbow put some on there and you'll put that like that and that is going to be to um, keep the rubber band on so it doesn't fly off like a rubber band slayer and believe it or not right now after I put this next piece on you could pretty much use your crossbow already, but this kind of looks boring. So that's not what we're gonna do. So then take your tube or whatever it is, take some duct tape, like six inches or something like that. Um, you are going to um, just to decorate it or make it look a little nicer. You could put some duct tape on it. I'll put it on, make it gray. So that's the only color I have. And um, it's, yeah, so just roll it around. And then you'll put some hot glue, up, like, yeah, in that area, and then some up there. And then you're going to take it and just place it down. This is a very important part, so you have to hold your crossbow out like this. And you have to make sure that it's exactly aligned with the, um, rest of the crossbow, like everything's aligned. You might want to look eye level with it and all that. But right now you could pretty much use your crossbow. But it looks very boring. But to to use your crossbow, what you would do is you take a rubber band, you put it over there, and you'd pull it back. But the problem with that is it's incredibly flimsy. So what you'll do is flip it over and you'll take a popsicle stick and put it like that. So let's start by putting some hot glue over there, some hot glue over there. Might not line up perfectly, but that's what I'm about to figure out. So there, just like that. That is going to make it so the crossbow is more sturdy. That's not for any um using purposes that's just to make sure it doesn't break apart while you're using it so then just let that dry for a little okay it's not incredibly dry but a little bit flip it over and right now what you're going to do is kind of look around and just bend around your thing see what else might be flimsy and you'll see that this part's probably flimsy. So you'll do pretty much the exact same thing. Just do the normal hot glue there, hot glue there, you're done. Let it dry for a little bit. So you should have like almost like two popsicle sticks, almost gonna be like a peak, almost like on a house. Then you should let it dry. And if you try that same rubber band thing now, it should not um, bounce around and be as flimsy too much. It might be a little bit flimsy, and if it is, and you're pulling back on the rubber band hard, um, these things might either break, or that might be a sign that you have to move this up a little bit. Now, mine just happens to be very flimsy because of the type of popsicle sticks I'm using, so I'm just going to put a... Uh, extra maybe support thing we'll do one um, I have a question oh master of popsicle crossbows what 
can we see the finished product and you can show us this one that you've already made and show how each part works and present it over there oh, yeah, sure. so we can see how that goes. Okay. Otherwise it will take too long. Mm -hmm. So like as you see this now, this is really just the basics of this one. It's the thing there. This is actually a pretty long one, so the rubber band will just have to get used to stretching out. And um do you see how same thing? And then there is popsicle stick, popsicle stick. The further away the popsicle stick is from the hole, the harder it will like boom. So show us the details why the other one is so much different. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay, well this one obviously took a lot of time to do. This probably took two or three hours actually. And it's just there's also a ammo holder, so you can put an ammo holder if you want. How but do you make that? I'll do that. Um, show, show there. Yeah, this is the ammo holder. You can put the uh, arrows in there. So that's going to be one of the last steps. But let's move on with this. So if I bend it around, it won't bend too much. That means you're good. Then try to pull back your thing as far as it can to stretch out, maybe. Maybe just hold it there for few seconds and then try to stretch some more and it might be very difficult to stretch and if it is that means that your um, clothespin is too far away and it's actually incredibly easy to remove if you did make a mistake just kind of wiggle it around and all that um, I'm gonna just leave mine for now because it's Fine, I'll be able to stretch my rubber band out that far after I see like that. So you'd stretch it back all the way and you would press that down, it would shoot out, there would be an arrow in there. So that's how it shoots. But there's one little problem. I'm not going to shoot it, but say so you put an arrow in there. And the rubber band, it will be leveled with that, and that's way too low. So what you might want to do is, the other half of that one you cut, you'll take and you'll cut that in half. So it's like a few quarters. Then, right in front of the popsicle stick and below a little, you'll take one of those, put it there. Then you'll put more glue on top of that. And you put the other one there. Now this is just to make it all leveled off, so um, your crossbow will work. This is actually more important than you might think it is, and it really helps. So now, if you look at that, it's a lot more level. So the it, I know it looks like the arrow's flopping around now, but when the rubber end is on. It almost makes like two walls so it stays in the middle. So the basics of my crossbow is done. You to maybe just a little bit more you might want it a little bit more sturdy over there. You might want to like put another popsicle stick. It's just um your option. You don't need to you don't need to do that, but it's smart to do it because it just lets it stay together. And then like you see um my example over here, there is a stand to keep it up straight. So I'm going to show you how to make that now. It's actually very simple. It's about twice as simple as the rest of the crossbow. And um, you'll just take, this is all dry, so you'll just take one, like, just put it somewhere. You'll glue it on. It's very simple. And you'll glue it on, and you'll wait a few seconds. And you see mine kind of flopping around. And then I'm not going to do this, but you can pull, and then you'll glue it like that. And that's all to the stand. Okay? And then 
this is this is really all the crossbow and this is the basics of it this and this one are exactly the same just that one has a few more things and let me show you how it shoots so I'm gonna um, use that rubber band that I used before I'm going to take it put it on the top Pull it all the way back. Put it in like that. That's how I explained. That again. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna pull the rubber band all the way back to the pin. Open the pin. Put it in. You're gonna put that. Show where the rubber band started. Oh yeah, I the, can't see. the rubber band. Um, the, the rubber band started over there. So you're gonna put the rubber band. Uh, you're gonna put the rubber band like that, and then pull it all the way back to the pin. Once the pin's on, you can put the uh, dowel. And the rubber band ends here. The rubber band will end at the paper clip. Then you can put that on. You can have a handle if you want. And then you'll line it up. And you'll shoot it. I'm not going to shoot it because I don't want to hit anything. But you'd press that down. Shoot it into here. And the dowel will shoot out. Shoot it into here. Um, and that's it. Um... If you want to see how to make that other rubber band slinger, um, I'll make a separate video of that because um, I'm kind of I, I don't I've done enough. That's why. Okay. Okay. So let me show you how to shoot it. I'm just gonna actually add one more supporting thing. It's gonna take 30 seconds. One more thing like this. those things. Actually, yeah, three of those is better than two. So then, you're going to line it up, and... Hold on, hold on. You're going to line it up, and... And that's it. Thank you for watching.